Hello everyone. Today, we're exploring the medication mitodrine, commonly known by its brand name, Proamatine. As with all our discussions, this is purely for educational purposes. If you have health-related questions or concerns, always consult a medical professional. Description Mitodrine, marketed under the brand name Proamatine, is an oral medication categorized as an alpha-adrenergic agonist. Its main function is to constrict blood vessels and elevate blood pressure, primarily used to treat orthostatic hypotension, a condition where blood pressure drops significantly upon standing. This action helps prevent symptoms such as dizziness or fainting. Approved by the FDA, mitodrine is crucial for patients whose lives are significantly affected by low blood pressure episodes. The medication is designed for short-term use and should be taken during daytime hours when the patient is most likely to experience symptoms. Warnings Mitodrine should not be used by individuals with severe organic heart diseases, acute kidney diseases, urinary retention, or thyrotoxicosis. Patients with pheochromocytoma should also avoid this medication due to the potential risk of severe hypertension. Pregnant or breastfeeding women should use mitodrine cautiously and only if clearly needed, as the effects on the fetus and newborns are not fully understood. Before taking this medicine Before starting mitodrine, it's important to discuss your complete medical history with your healthcare provider, including any allergies to medications. Inform your doctor if you have any conditions such as heart disease, kidney disease, liver disease, diabetes, or problems with urination. Avoid mitodrine if you have severe heart conditions or certain types of thyroid disorders. If you are scheduled for any surgery, particularly those involving anesthesia that affects blood pressure, inform your surgeon that you are taking mitodrine. Side Effects the common side effects of mitodrine include scalp tingling, chills, goosebumps, stomach pain, and increased urinary frequency. Some people may experience more serious side effects such as severe elevation in blood pressure, especially when lying down. It's important to monitor your blood pressure regularly while on this medication. If you experience severe headaches, confusion, blurred vision, or irregular heartbeats, contact your healthcare provider immediately. Interactions Mitodrine may interact with other medications, potentially increasing the risk of adverse effects or diminishing effectiveness. Particularly, it can interact with drugs that increase blood pressure or heart rate, including decongestants and certain antidepressants. Always inform your healthcare provider about all the medications, supplements, and herbal products you are currently using. Dosage Adhering to the correct dosage is crucial for the effectiveness of mitodrine. The typical starting dose is 10 mg per day, divided into two or three doses. Depending on the response and tolerance, your doctor might adjust the dose. The medication is usually taken during daytime hours to prevent sleep disturbances caused by elevated blood pressure. Never adjust your dose without consulting your healthcare provider. Avoid. While taking mitodrine, it's advisable to avoid lying down for extended periods immediately after taking the medication to prevent excessively high blood pressure. Since mitodrine can cause supine hypertension, lying flat can exacerbate this condition. Additionally, patients should be cautious about other medications that affect blood pressure and avoid over-the-counter products without consulting a healthcare provider. FAQ Patients often inquire about the long-term use of mitodrine. Generally, it is intended for short-term management of symptoms and not recommended for long-term use without regular evaluation from a healthcare provider. Concerns about dependency and tolerance are also common and should be discussed with your doctor. Closing This concludes our overview of mitodrine or proamatine. Remember, the information provided is for educational purposes and should not be used as a substitute for professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns about your treatment. Thank you for tuning in.